Thank you. We'll go to Ray. Ray, you have a question about uh, antifreeze. You're from Florida. Yes, Bobby. I have often heard you talk about, you know, to replace the permanent antifreeze and GM and Chrysler cars, and I could just never get that story straight. I was just wondering if you could repeat something like that. Well, uh, yes. Uh, in, in, um, to make a long story short, lifetime or long-life coolants have added to they're, 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 They are ethylene glycol base, red or green. And the green is the old-fashioned old style, and the red is the new-fashioned style that GM came out with. GM yeah. had a tremendous number of component failures when they went with the long-life coolant, and here's why. The bottom line, the, the air intrusion was really the culprit, and air would get into uh, co uh, and does get into a, a, a cooling system, and when it does, it, it allows... Uh, uh, toxins to, to form. And that's why you should flush cooling systems every two years to be sure. Because we saw so many oh, ones, twos, threes, fours from, I mean, for three or four years there. In fact, there there is, and I don't know if you're aware of this, Ray, but there is a class action suit against GM for, uh, regarding the Dexcool coolant. And, I'm not aware of that. Well, we, we, were, we were for five years, we, and we still to this day when we perform uh, our procedure at Car Clinic Service on cooling systems, we, unless the customer specifically says that he or she wants to stay with the factory, we always go with the green ethanol, uh, uh, ethylene glycol, the old stuff it's called. Now, it doesn't have, that, that uh, coolant doesn't have the long life additives in it, but I will tell you, and I can, I can prove this uh, uh, almost universally, if you think that you can go three, four, five years with coolant, you cannot because electrolysis still occurs, damage to the interior of the of the vehicle, the engine and, and radiator and hoses and coolant still occurs uh, because that uh, because that's just the nature of the beast. I mean, coolant not only keeps the car from overheating in the summer, it, 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 it's the antifreeze that keeps the car from freezing in the winter, but it's also uh, a path for current to flow. And electrolysis is always a problem. And what I would recommend for everyone listening is the next time you're in a, a service shop and your car is two years old, ask them to check the voltage in the coolant. And if they look at you with a bland look, you better go to another shop. Uh, the voltage should and must be below 0.3 volts. And you'll also want to check for AC current in the coolant as well. So uh, those are just two tips. Glad you called. And again, the, the, the solution would be for you to take a look at my 10 most wanted car killers. 10 most wanted car killers. And you can either Google 10 most wanted car killers or go to carclinicnetwork.com.